Hey guys, Jeremy here from How To Hockey, and you read that title right, the rim is a lazy play. Not all the time, but there's a lot of hockey players who are not using the rim properly, so that's what we're going to talk about in this clip. But it's not just me, I also have a clip from pro coach Mike Johnson, but first, let me explain to you what it is. Really quick explanation, the rim usually happens on the breakout from the defenseman behind the net, and to move the puck up the ice, they hammer it around the board so it, the puck stays nice and tight to the boards all the way around and rims up the boards. That causes the winger to have to take it off the boards to break out. Here's an example of a lazy rim. Defenseman has the puck, not much pressure behind the net, and the winger is in place to get that nice breakout pass, and the defenseman rims it around the corner. That's making it harder for the winger to get that pass. What the defenseman can do in this situation is take a couple more strides so he can look up ice, and then make a tape-to-tape -tape pass to the winger. Whenever you can make a tape-to-tape -tape pass in the breakout, it makes things a lot easier on the winger and makes the breakout a lot faster and smoother. So that's what you want to do. Try to get those tape-to-tape -tape passes first. Now let's take a look at that clip from Mike Johnson. The easy thing to do is rim the puck. And I'm not saying that we don't use that because it is an effective break -off. If you want to bypass the forecheck, it's a great break -off. It's a great thing to use the rim. But it's uh, oftentimes it's used because they don't want to read, they don't want to see options, and they don't want to have the confidence or the courage to make a play. Second short story I want to tell you when I came to Vancouver with Mark Crawford in our first year here. I remember we were in San Jose and I came down uh, to get a coffee in the morning, it was early in the morning, it was about 8 or 8.15, and Alex McGillney was here. And for the people from BC here, you remember when Alex played here? So Alex was down there and he said, hey Mike, can I, can I buy you a coffee? I said, sure. So I went over, I was new to the team and I wanted to get to know some of the players. So he came over, he bought me a coffee, we sat down. I said to him, it was kind of bothering me as all coaches, you carry the game with you from the night before and it sticks with you. So I, I said to Alex, I said, Alex, how do you think you played last night? He said, Mike, well, to be honest, he said, I wasn't very good. I said, I think our team was good, but I wasn't very good at all. I said, well, what happens? I said, sometimes I watch you play, and like, and you know, the people from here that watch Alex play when he was here, sometimes your play's like way up here, and you're into the game, and you're jumping, and you're going, and sometimes you're down here. And I'll never forget it, and it Im impacted our team in Vancouver going forward. Because he said to me, he said, Mike, I'll tell you what, when I come back in the zone, and I come back and I show the defense my stick, and I'm ready for a pass, and they rim the puck so hard that I can't handle it, or they shoot the puck off the glass and I'm ducking to try and get out of the way of the puck, he says, you know, what am I supposed to do? And then I get into the neutral zone, and I break for holes, I try and work, I try and get open, I try and get available, and they shoot the puck in. He says, hey, you know, look at me, I'm not a big guy. I can't fortune. I'm not good at fortune. I'm not good at playing physical. But you give me the puck, and then I can make things happen. And, and, and as a coach, your natural tendency is to get pissed off and say, hey, hey, come on now. I'm the coach here, and this is the way we do things. But it, it stuck with me because you look at our team in Vancouver in those days, we had you know, Nazan, and then we had Morrison, and we had Bertuzzi. Uh, we had a fairly skilled defense. We added the Sedins the next year after that. And I was thinking that these guys need the puck. And it's the same as going back to the camera story, that they need the puck on their stick. And so what Alex was essentially saying is that when he works hard is when people give him the puck so that he has the opportunity to use what he, he's best at. And that's skating, jumping into holes, accelerating, coming with speed, attacking with speed, and going after people. That's what he was saying. He wasn't saying he didn't want to work hard. He was saying, that, hey, you've got to get them to at least give me the puck. So I, at the end of the conversation, I, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to look at it. I'm gonna, we're going to work on it. We'll try and get you the puck more, but you've got to make sure that when we, we do it or we try to do it, that you're working with people all the time. Thanks to the Coaches site for providing that clip of Mike Johnson. If you guys are looking for more videos from pro hockey coaches, check out thecoachessite.com. They have all kinds of materials. They also have two conferences coming up, one in Toronto and one in Vancouver. So head over to the website, thecoachessite.com, if you're interested in the material or the conferences. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button because I'm always making videos to help you guys improve your skills. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.